Hi, ladies. How are you doing? Hope you're all well then. So, today we've got our nice pregnancy workout, and we're going to be doing um, a combination of upper body and lower body. So there's going to be um, five exercises on our upper body and five exercises on our lower body, okay? So a little bit of a variety today. Um, and we're going to be doing exercises that are going to incorporate um, a couple of different muscle groups at the same time with regard to our upper body, okay? So get it nice and strong. But when baby comes along, we're well, constantly having to have hold of them and feeding them and stuff like that. So shall we do it? Okay, let's get ready. Put the music on. Yeah, why not? Let's get some. If we can put some music on, that is. It depends on how you two play the game today. Because if you decide one minute they can have music, the next minute they can't. Okay, let's start moving to our ladies. Okay, little Mark, you are going to need weights today. Um, you can also have tins, so bottles or tins, anything like that. Or if you've got kids, two toys, whatever. Okay, so just as long as you've got something in your hands, you don't have to have weights, but the weight, the weight I'm going to do today is going to incorporate weights. Okay? So let's just take those legs a little bit wider and if you can lift that heel up to your butt, lift that heel up to your butt. Remember, you can always support baby by holding on and just making sure that you're nice and straight so you can feel that pressure coming through that lower back. You might want to just train up baby, especially if you lean them forward. So hold it nice. Okay, let's take those knees up to the side. Nice and high. Get those knees right up. All right, that's it. Come on, get them nice and high. Okay, give them a little shake out. We're going to take those arms across the body. Nice and wide, then close, wide, then close. Good, and we're going to take those shoulders nice and high. All the way back. And rest. Okay, so we're going to start on the floor today, girls. So just bring yourself down nice and gently, nice and slowly. If you need to hold on to something as you're getting down, then please do so. We're going to lie on our side. And if you want, you can pop a pillow underneath where baby's lying. And then you can just make sure that you're nice and comfortable. So the first exercise we're going to do, we're just going to simply lift and lower that leg. We're going to do all the exercises on one side. And then we're going to swap over to the other side. Okay, so take that leg up and down. That's it. Nice and high, and bring it down. Good. Lift it, and lower. All the way up, and down. We've got eight seconds. If that's too much, you then you can have that little rest at the bottom, and then bring it back up. Okay, so you get your intensity, remember, I'm not actually in the room with you, so I can't make sure that you're in the correct position. But as long as you're following what I'm doing, you should be okay. But I really want you to be mindful of how you're feeling, how you're going to respond to the exercise, and make sure that you're comfortable, not overheating, and you're in a nice, comfortable state. Next exercise we're going to do, we're going to bring that leg in, and we're going to take it back out. Okay, we're going to bring it in, and take it back out. Get ready, take it in, and out. So remember, your kids. You want to make sure that you're just bring your leg into where you can and take it back out. This is going to benefit all the 
Gostou de subir o que a gente está a comunicar? Mas então, eu não tive um pé. Aí diz que o olho que vem para não ver os meus pensores que eu venho para todos os homens. Se há um pouco, eu estou de sair para ter graça de homem. Ah, deve ser tarde. Ok. Next one we're going to do, we're going to do total leg out, and we're just going to do little circles. Now, this is too much for you, it's too high. You can bring yourself down onto your hands, and then you can do the same movements, but lower down to the floor. Okay, it's entirely up to you, whatever you feel comfortable. That leg underneath is slightly bent. Okay, lift it up, and take it down. If this is feeling a little bit uncomfortable but under your hip, you can also wait, pop a little pillow on deck or fold the mat over so it's a little tiny bit more confused. Or just fold a, a, a towel or a little blanket. Okay, get that leg all the way around. Nearly there. Last few seconds. And let's get down. Okay. For the next one, we're going to bring that leg up and we're just going to hold it nice and strong in that position. We've got 30 seconds best between each exercise. So embrace this time and get ready. We've got 12 seconds to go. Okay, we've got six seconds. We're going to take that leg up and we're just going to hold it in that position. Okay, take it up and hold. You're going to feel that going right through that leg. Keep it nice and strong. If you feel like this is too much, you can bring that leg down, have a little rest, and then take that leg back up. Okay, you can hold it in five seconds, have a little rest, and bring it back down, and take it back up. We're not going too high, we're just bringing it to just above the height. So it's just working the outside of that side and let's sit there. Okay, we have one more exercise. We're going to lift ourselves up if you're not lying sitting up. We're going to put the leg behind and we're just going to lift and lower the inside legs so that we're getting the inside muscles at that time. And we're also going to flat and we're holding this pelvic floor area. So make sure your pelvic floor muscles are nice and strong, nice and switched on by just being mindful that you're trying to stop yourself from going to the toilet, whether it's front and back, okay? So everything is engaged, and you're just lifting that leg, working the inside of that fan. Remember, again, if that's too much for you, you can rest it down, you can take it up for a couple, and then you can rest it down again. Five seconds. And let's sit there. Okay, gently bring yourself up. We're going to bring it over to the opposite side and we're going to keep these exercises. So the leg underneath, support the leg slightly bent. Bring yourself down onto your wrist or your elbow. High or low, it's entirely up to you where you want to place yourself. First exercise we're going to do is up and down. Okay, so just hold there for seconds, five seconds. And take it up, take it down. So with this pregnancy workout, it's low intensity, so you can do it for any trimester, so you can do it in your first, your second, or your third. This is also ideal for women who are giving birth, so that if you want to get back into exercise, if you want to do it nice and gently, this is another ideal workout for you to do. So you can also invite your friends who have already got children but are not yet exercising again and want to get into exercise. We invite them to the group, and it's the beat fit for baby group. Rest that leg down. Next one we're going to do, we're going to bring it up. I'm going to take that knee in, and we're going to take that knee on. Okay? Lengthen that leg right out so you're working the whole of the muscles on that leg. So rest your feet for 12 seconds. If you're not comfortable in that position, you can bring yourself up onto your elbow. Okay? We've got three shoulders. Take it up and out. Take it up and out. Now remember, because you're pregnant, if you're going to have baby there, if you stay the longer in pregnancy, you're not bringing it all the way in, you're just going to bring it a little bit 
if you can, and then back out. Okay, so those of you who are in the pregnancy or you just have a small pregnancy, you can bring that leg right in. But just be careful not to crunch things up, fit them in crossbow muscles at the side too much. And that's just them. So our next one, as we did before, circling that leg all the way around. Okay, you get comfy girls. So we're only doing one set on each leg, then we're going to take it into our upper body. So we're not doing any more leg exercises after this. Get ready, we've got 10 seconds. And we're going to take that leg straight and we're just going to nicely circle it round and round. Okay, take it out and circle. Good. All the way around. Make sure that you are comfortable and you're not straining yourself. You make sure you breathe in nice and deep. So baby's getting oxygen, you're getting plenty of oxygen. Take it all the way around. And rest it there. Okay. Next one, we're going to do the movement where we're just holding it, keeping that leg elevated, and just holding it for 30 seconds before we then take it into our other one. And we're going to lift our leg. So relax those legs, we've got 14 seconds of rest, and then we're going to get going. Okay, six seconds, girls. Get ready with that leg. Take it up, and hold it. Okay, hold it there. You should be feeling this, working through into your glutes, right down the outside of that thigh. You're going to feel it on the inside of the thigh all the way down to your ankles, okay? If it's too much, please rest it down, have a little chill, and then take it back up. Okay, try and pull that toe towards you. If it's too much, take it back down, and then take it straight back up. And rest it there. Okay, next one, that leg is coming behind. Our, our bottom leg, and we're just gonna lift, and lower. So have a rest. Get some water if you need it. Remember to drink plenty of water during exercise and also during the day. Baby needs a lot of water. Okay. You get that leg ready. We've got six seconds. You can bring this kind of forward if you want to rest it. And we're just going to take it up and down. That's it. All the way up. Way from the inside of that thigh. Bring it up and bring it down. We nearly did 15 seconds, girls. Come on. All the way up. And we lost the ball. Okay. We're going to take it up onto our feet to gently bring yourself up. And we're going to rest for 30 seconds before we start our next group. So the next few exercises, we are going to use our weights. If you haven't got weights, you can use pins. If you don't want to use anything, that's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to show you. First exercise is going to be bringing it up and back down. Bring it up and back down. Okay, let's do it. Bring it up and back down. You can just do this with your arms if you want, without having any weight in them. That's fine. Bring it up and back down. And remember, you don't really want to be doing any more than two to three kilo, especially if you're not really used to exercising. Last one, and that's the third. Okay, our next one, we're going to take it into the front, a side one, sorry, a, a lateral raise and a side front raise. So we're going to go out, and then we're going to go. Up. Okay, so we're doing two exercises in one, just to make it that little bit tougher, but remember, give it to your intensity, you need to have a little rest, please have a little rest. We've got six seconds, we're going to take the weights out to the side first, let's go, and we're going to bring them down, then we're going to take them forward, bring them out, take them forward. Good. If that's too much for you, 
You can do one at a time. One at a time, come around to the side. And again, half the front. If you can do two, do two. Especially if you've got a little weight in your hand, you should be able to do the two. Last one, and that's it. Okay, so our next exercise, we're going to do bicep curl. We're going to push up, bring it back down, back to a bicep curl. Yeah? 20 seconds, get a little sip of water if you need it. Okay, my buddies, we've got seven seconds. So you have a bicep curl. Push it up, bring it down, back to our bicep curl. Let's do it. Push it up, bring it down, back to our bicep curl. You can actually sit down doing these exercises as well. If it's too much on your lower back to stand up, you can sit down on a nice comfy chair, stand in chair maybe, and do these same exercises. And these workouts are left on the page. The left on the YouTube page and also left on the Beat Fit for Baby page. So you can do this whenever you feel like burning a few calories, getting a little bit of energized. Please log on and do these exercises. Okay, so our next exercise is we're going to bend the arms and we're just going to take it wide and together. We're going to take it wide and together. Okay, to have a little rest, we've got 10 seconds. Last five, get your position. Elbows are close to the body, we're taking it wide and together. Okay, good. Big, wide, and back in. Nice and wide, and back in. Good girls. Excellent. Come on, we've got this. Keep it going. Or the happy endorphins or rushing around your body. Baby, you'll be having a whale of a time in there. And I rested there. Okay, we're going to pop one way down. What we're going to do here is we're going to take hold of the weight. We're going to drive it out for five. And then we're going to push up for five. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Bring it in. One, two, three, four, five. Five, back out. Okay? We've got six seconds. Take it up and drive. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Back out. One, two, three, four, five. That's it, girls. Back out. Good. Ten seconds. This is too much. Remember, you don't have to do it with the weight. Put the weight down, but just do the same movement and rest it in. Okay, we are through our five exercises. Now we're going to go back through them again. And that's it. We've done our workout ready for the day. Lots of energy. Lots of happy endorphins released into the body so you'll feel like you can conquer the world. Right, so our first exercise we've got is our shoulder, okay, bring it down, up and down, let's go, that's it, palms are facing forward, you've got to twist those palms, so the palms are forward as you're taking them up, there to there, that's it, all the way up, all the way down, We've got eight seconds. Make sure there's no pressure going through your lower back. It's nice and strong. How the floor is engaged, and you've just got everything switched on. Next one, we're going out to the side and forward. So please, if that's too much for you, you can sit down and do it, or you can just do it with your single hand going up to the side and out. Or you can do it with the weights. Highly up to you. And a little dog. Five seconds. So we're going to take it out to the side first, then we're going to take it forward. Out to the side, take it forward. All the way up and down. Okay. That's it. 
15 seconds, girls. Remember, if baby's wiggling everywhere, feel a little bit uncomfortable for you. Have a rest, take a seat, and just relax until you feel that you can get involved again. You're in competition with nobody, okay? This is for you and your baby and nobody else. Right, our third exercise we're going to do is our bicep curl. We're going to push it up, bring it down, back to our bicep curl. We've got 12 seconds. Let me just get some water. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water, too. Let's go, take it up, bring it down, and back. That's it. All the way up, bring it down. Bicep curl. Okay, so make sure you get that full bicep curl before you take it up. So there, to there, back down to there. Okay, all the way up, back down, and back. Good, and rest is there. Oh, it's your nose. Right, our next one, we're going to bend those bicep, bend those muscles, elbows. Bicep to kick it in, you bring it round, you keep in those elbows pulled right in, and you just open those arms and bring them back together. We've got this exercise, one more, a good old stretch, and then we're all done. Okay, three seconds. Bring it up, and let's go. Bring it in. Bring it out, and in. Those weights are meeting in the middle. Bring the right hand right in. Keep those elbows hooked in. Try not to lift those elbows too high. You want to keep them to the side, out, and in. Be working that rotator cuff all into your shoulders, all into that shoulder joint, strengthening it. And rest the same. Pop one weight down. Right, we've got our driver, and then we're going to take it up above our head to five and five. Last exercise for you. So dig deep, and let's get ready to go. Ten seconds. We're going to start with the driver, then we're going to take it up into our pull. Take it up, guys. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Take it forward. One, two, three, four, five. Back up. Good. Okay, 15 seconds. Bring it in. Keep it going. We've got five seconds. Last one up. And rest is there. Well done, girls. That was absolutely brilliant. Nice long time to be wearing around, so you will feel it in those muscles, which is just perfect. Okay, your heart rate should be nice and low because it's not on high intensity. We'll make sure you just get a nice deep breath in just to bring that heart rate back to its natural state. You take a deep breath in and breathe out. Deep breath in and breathe out. Okay, and relax the same, we're going to take that arm across the body. Just be mindful, the chest being bigger due to the um, relaxation due to happen. Make sure that you're bringing that arm across, pulling it in, and then release it and swap sides. Don't push too hard on that area of the chest. Pull it nice, nice and gently, but as long as you get that little stretch going into the back of that arm and the shoulder. Okay, so we're going to just lift. One hand to the ceiling, stretch all the way up, we stretch out all those intercostal muscles, obliques, hip hip muscles, and swap sides. All the way up. Okay. Take your shoulders back. And let's take them forward. Rotate all the way around. We're going to take that foot out to the side if you've got a big stomach and you're going to lean back, 
not touching your toe, but be trying to stretch down the back of that leg. So you're going to lift that toe to you a little bit more. If you can get further into that stretch because you're not as big, try and get further into that stretch. Okay? And take your foot out to the side and stop side. Feel the last stretch going up the back of that thigh. If you need to hold on to something, please do. Bring it up nice and gently. Okay, so we're going to stretch out the quad muscles now. So all the front of the legs, so you can hold on to something. Opposite arm, bend your leg to opposite foot and then stand up. Okay, so rather than trying to get that foot with the same hands, the same hands on the same side, it's easier to just lean into it, support yourself, bend that knee, bring the foot up and take it up. Hold it there. And shake it out. Well done, girls. That was absolutely brilliant. Hope you enjoyed that workout. And I will look forward to seeing you on Wednesday, the same time, 11 o'clock, um, on the, our Be for Baby. And if you've not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so. Do so. What is this for you? I feel it can, and you'll see me there. Just click the subscribe button, and then you'll get notifications of when your next class is going to be. Okay? Thanks very much, ladies. Have a lovely day, and I will speak to you very, very soon. Take care. Bye.